Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be discussing the world's most powerful makeup, the kind of makeup that will last through a water park, the kind of makeup that will last if you decide to go swimming, that has the potential to be this. We're gonna go through everything on my face. I'm wearing a lot of it. Not that you need to go to a water park in glitter and false lashes, but if you wanted to, I have you covered. I have tried so many products throughout the years. I've done wear tests. I have slept in my makeup. Makeup. I one time did that. It was like 24 hours that I took seriously as far as like, how long does it actually wear? So I feel like when we enter these hotter months, we're here in summer and a lot of my messages are like, what is the best waterproof? I'm like, I have so much to share with you guys. And I thought it would be a fun video to just go through my favorites at the moment that are absolutely budge proof and also share a few tips and techniques that I love one I've never shared before. Okay, let's dive on in. When you are doing long wear makeup, now this could be for a wedding. It doesn't have to be um, waterproof because someone is gonna like spray you down with a hose. This could be if you have a special event, it is humid hot, you want to know how to layer things, you wanna know the best ways to go about putting your makeup on. I have been the bridal makeup artist for most of my family and friends. I really feel like prepping the skin is your number one thing to do. So we are gonna talk a little bit of skincare before we hop into foundation and powder and all of that. And I do wanna share with you guys, I'm about halfway through my Chibula Serum from True Botanicals. I've been using this a month and a half-ish, almost two months. And I do go in pretty liberally twice a day. I use a full um, dropper, I go on the neck. This is beautiful under makeup and it really draws a lot of hydration to the skin. With the hyaluronic acid, it's a very hydrating formula. It is active, it does a lot of great things. It replaces five of my other serums. It's kind of an all-in-one. I've talked about this before, I'm sharing it again. True Botanicals did partner with me on this video. And I just wanted to reiterate the success that I have had with this product, it is so dang good. It's available on Ulta.com. If you go to the True Botanicals website, you'll see some amazing before and afters. This just does the trick as far as smoothing everything out. I really see a difference in texture, specifically with the Chibula Active Serum. I think this ingredient is hot and I love the antioxidant effect, and I really see results with this. Now at the end of the day, when you do your skincare, you wanna do a final step with an oil, and this is a beautiful one. This is the Pure Radiance Oil, it is gorgeous. I do mix this in with my foundation, just one drop on the regular. If I was gonna be wearing my makeup all day long, wanting it to stay waterproof, I wouldn't do that but on a normal day, I will. Texas is like literally going outside into a steam room at the moment, so I don't have to amp up the hydration so much right now, but come fall, winter, I will again. So check it out on Ulta.com. Let's get into the makeup. I really, really hope that my eyelash wasn't like blinking into my bangs the whole time. Sometimes it does that. Can we just, just one more thing? I know, I like, just one more thing, one more thing. Okay, please use your skincare down the neck. This has zero to do with the waterproofness and the power of the makeup that we are about to get into, but I just, I always wanna remind you guys, your skincare does not stop here, go all the way down. I get a lot of questions like, Tati, Tati, how do you keep your chest like this? And I'm like, I treat this region the same way I treat this, a lot of TLC. Doesn't stop here, it goes here. Now, do I do like a serum and the whole thing on my arms and my legs? No, but I think that this skin right here, ladies, it is so important to take care of it. So if you are going in with the goods anyway, just take it, take it all the way. I just felt like hopping on my soapbox for a moment and giving you guys like a lecture and there you have it. And hydrate, cheers. Okay, we're hydrated, we're juicy, we're good. But now we wanna prevent sweat and oil from destroying our look. Use a mattifying primer. Now, if you have very, very dry skin, don't use a mattifying primer, skip this step. But if you have combo skin even, I would say go around the sides of the nose. Go where you know when you look in the mirror on a normal day, by the end of the day, where is the oil? Do a survey, find out my chin 
gets so oily. I don't really know why. It's just oil here. I have dry patches on my face. I have very combo skin. It's leaning more dry these days, but hello Texas with this humidity and heat and it's back to like true combo. So I will use this and I actually really like to take a brush and not overdo the application. I'm not going in with a ton of product and pressing it in. I'm kind of fanning it on the skin lightly letting it do its thing. From there, I did use the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is, I wanna say on the website, it says sweat resistant, humidity resistant. Um, not gonna stay here long. I've talked about this a bunch. One of the best concealers that I have tried in years. It's like a hybrid of everything I love about all my other concealers in one. I cannot say enough. Now, I like going underneath the foundation on a day like today where I'm gonna lock it all in. The reason being, I can take it a little heavy handed and almost blend it down a little bit. And then I know going in with my foundation, I'm not gonna use as much. Now, waterproof makeup, budge proof makeup does not mean that we are going in and slapping it on and rolling it on and it's thick. You don't wear more makeup to make it last longer. You layer it in the correct way and you choose the right formulas. So I went in today with the infallible 24 hour fresh wear from L'Oreal. We're gonna see a lot of L'Oreal in this video. I think the infallible line is one of the best for long wear makeup, period, even competes against high end. This is a long time love of mine. It's a little bit thinner than the colors day, which is why I have been into this recently. I will link below my foundation video. I go through all of it, but out of long wear, like I was judging just long wear, I would say that these two are the smash hit winners. And I love this one because it's a little bit lighter and my skin has been good lately. So I've been reaching for lighter. I feel like the Chabula is really hydrating and firming me. I've been consistent, I said, for like six weeks. And I've noticed that I haven't been reaching for as thick of foundation. Now I still love the color stay, but this has been my new everyday grab for the past week-ish, which I know sounds ridiculous. It takes me a lot to switch up my everyday makeup. Um, so we're back in the, infallible. Okay, so from there, we're gonna talk powder and I have a little smack to talk. It's gonna be so contradictory. So for powder, I don't use a ton of it on the face. I do use some. I'm not gonna glop it everywhere. What I tend to do is bake underneath the eyes. I used Sigma's loose powder today. I also would say this guy from Givenchy would work beautifully as well. I have a whole video dedicated to me purchasing every item that the brand makes. I'll link that below. This powder is phenomenal. It's also super expensive. So I wanted to give you the next best thing, which is Sigma. And it has a similar kind of smoothing finish where it's not like so crunchy super duper matte. It's not gonna look super crazy heavy. It has enough of a glide and enough of a texture satin finish that you can do really, really well with this baking. Even if you have some lines underneath the eyes, a lot of people feel like I'm too old to bake. And there, there are certain people that shouldn't bake underneath their eyes, but if you do it right, if you actually let the product sit, which I see this on TikTok a lot, and this is my grievance with some TikTok makeup, get ready with me is, is the bake is on there for like no time. It's not baking. Would you put cookies in an oven, shut the door and be like, they're done and like pull them out? Like, no, you would not. You gotta let it bake. You need a solid 10. You need 10 minutes for your face to heat up with the powder for it to do what it is intended to do. And if you do that, like literally I'm telling you, do your brows and everything, but look at your phone, look at the time, make sure that you are not packing it on and you know mimicking your favorite beauty person. And then you're like, cool, we did that step. And then you're like wiping it off. Give it a minute, give it 10. I will literally go park it outside just to let the heat kind of like, ah, for like a few minutes. <laughs> And then I'll go back in because heat can be your friend when you're doing makeup. Also, I would only recommend going like underneath the eye. If you are gonna be out and about and maybe water is hitting your face, I don't know. Um, the baking down here might not be the best idea, but I do still find baking underneath the eye the most effective way to lock in your concealer. Like I know that nothing is gonna move this. Nothing. Are you in a tornado? It's not moving, okay? I could go on Splash Mountain, which I think they took that ride away. It's not moving, okay? Stain. Just what is wrong with me that I have to turn every video into like 
And but wait, there's one that I don't like, and we're gonna talk about it. Um, this Dior, what are you even called? Dior Skin Forever Extreme Control. We bought this for Erica's wedding makeup test. It did not last. Um, she didn't wear this one on the wedding day. I've just really tried to make this work and I couldn't. And it's Dior, so every time I go to like put it in the trash bin, I'm like, wait, no. Maybe you were having a weird makeup day and like you can make it work. Just like, oh, just try again. And I'm, no. When it's something expensive that doesn't work, I have to tell you guys, even if it works for you, I just feel like, why? Like you can get this at the drugstore, which we're back at the drugstore. How about that? Let's talk about bronzer briefly. If you are doing a long wear, budge proof, won't go anywhere kind of a look. Do not oversaturate your face with creams. I know that's the trend right now, but it's gonna slip and slide around. And here's the problem with creams. If you don't set them properly and you're out and about, like you're being cute at the theme park or you're on the beach on vacation and you have your cream makeup on, you do one of these and guess what? You got finger smudges on your face. Like it is all over the place. And I just don't think that we talk enough about the fact that the moment the camera turns off and you go live your life, you may have like a solid hour where it's looking like this. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing all creams, all creams does not work. You do need to set the face with a little bit of powder. I'm like the makeup mom right now. We're just going with it today. We're doing it. All right, another great trick. If you want long wear, long, long wear eyeshadow, take a waterproof 24 hour wear bronzer and use that in your crease. You are welcome. Uh, more infallible, oh my gosh. Okay, these blushes, I kid you not, what the heck? Like this is the most pigmented blush I think I have ever used. I'm just like, <laughs> this is worth your money. This is like, you're never gonna use it all. It's so good. It's very pigmented, have a paper towel handy. What I do is I plunk in here and I'm barely pressing and then I kind of go on the paper towel. I actually did go off the back of my hand and I noticed that it's stained. So this literally will give a staining effect to the skin, which is really nice if you want it to stay put. Blush is one of the first things to fade. Uh, I know that from doing makeup, that's one of the first things you're like, gotta get in there and like bring it back to life. So with this, I really love that staining effect, but you do wanna go in with a whisper, a little boom. You don't, you know, none of that, you know what I'm saying? And none of like the aggressive, like get in a peaceful state if you're gonna use this blush because you literally will It's just, it's super pigmented. You can do it, I believe in you, but it's not going anywhere either. It is so long wearing. If you prefer a stain, I would go with the Huda Beauty. What did they call Lip blush. I do really love those. Really quickly in the brows, I don't do anything super crazy waterproof, but I do like to set my brows and I'm in love still with this Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel. Anything that says tinted or stain, you wanna look out for that call out waterproof, long wear, tinted, stain. If it's giving you a certain amount of hours that it's gonna wear, look for those call outs. That means it's great for those long days. So this one is underneath the waterproof category on sephora.com. I typed in waterproof. I researched everything before this video. I really wanted a good list for you guys. And this is something that is very budge proof. It has such an itty bitty, teeny tiny, like can we even see it? little brush, but my tiny eyebrows sure do appreciate that. And I really love the regrowers in the product. The tint itself is very long wearing. And then the firmness of the gel just kind of holds everything in place. So if you're on that roller coaster, your brows are not doing this. I was really concerned for what people's eyelashes were gonna do while I was thinking about the brow hairs. Have you guys ever ridden a roller coaster with lashes on? Let me know how that went. I haven't. Wait, no, I have. <gasps> I went on the Jurassic Park ride and one of my lashes flew off. Oh yeah, that was a bad day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leave it to me to wear false lashes to Universal Studios. I'm embarrassed. No, I'm not. So anyway, I know you guys are wanting to know about the glitter on my eyes. I am feeling 
very nostalgic. Anytime I wear glitter, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like the good old days and I'm just taken back. So we are gonna get to that. Yes, I still wear glitter. I do not care. There is no age limit, okay? Wear glitter. If you're over 30, there are literally people who are like, you can't wear shiny makeup over 30. And I'm like, well, I'm over 40 and I do it. You do you. If you want high shine on the lids, I love doing just like a one and done. You know, maybe throw a little bit of that bronzer in the crease, do a little shine on the lid. Something crease proof, something that says long wear. This is the infallible 24 hour wear eyeshadow in Amber Rush, the best color that they make in my opinion. Oh my gosh, this color looks good on everyone. I've talked about this so freaking many times. It is so delicious. This color is just it. And I love wearing it. Every time I wear it, I feel pretty. And it is so crease proof, budge proof. You don't need a primer, you don't need to fuss. And it looks great, no problem, in a hurry, done. Um, I did today wear Nabla glitter in the shade Capricorn. This is, I don't know what the palette itself is. Oh, Ruby Lights. This is really beautiful. And sometimes when I'm doing like just lashes and not carving out the crease, not doing anything on the outer V, not really even going underneath the eye, I love taking glittery light reflective makeup and I feel like it looks just fresh. You're done, you're glamorous, but it is still very fresh. And glitter, surprisingly, is so super long wearing. I mean, trying to take it off is a whole event. So once you got it on there, it's there. Okay, so we're gonna talk about mascara really quick. I tried a new waterproof formula and it's not as thickening as the Neutrogena. I've just talked about this one so much that you guys are probably like, please, for the love, find a new one. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara. It's waterproof, it has hyaluronic acid in here. We love that ingredient and it's good, but I also was super curious about this Falsies Surreal Waterproof from Maybelline. This is the new one, you guys. This is a great mascara. And while I was on Sephora looking at all the many waterproof items and options that they have there, I just kept seeing mascara after mascara and I'm just like, mm, save your money, please. Just don't even spend $30 on a mascara unless you want to. But there are some amazing options at the drugstore. Okay, let's talk for a quick moment about Taylor Swift and how her makeup did not budge as she performed in many crazy rain shows. Did you guys see this on TikTok? This was insane. Literally everyone's like, oh my gosh, this is like so cool and like how amazing. And like all I was doing was like pulling out a magnifying glass and being like, Ugh. Like, how'd you get her makeup to stay like this? Like, it did not move. It was the craziest thing. It did not move. And I went online and I found a few people talking about her makeup artist. She wears a lot of Pat McGrath. And this liner from Pat McGrath is absolutely one of the most budge-proof products you can purchase. So if you want to get that perfect cat eye and you want it to stay put, even in a rainstorm, if you're going swimming in the ocean with your cat eye, if you're going somewhere hot, humid, this is not gonna melt off the face. Love it. Okay, um, what else we got? Obviously use a setting spray. You absolutely have to if you're going for the waterproof, super powered up makeup. From the drugstore, my favorite is Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray, the Photo Focus, and then Urban Decay All Nighter, what I use today, is just a winner, a slam dunk, and really makes the makeup set and not move. Let's talk about lips. I used my Luna & Aster Lip Liner in the shade. This is my favorite lip liner right now in the shade Inspired. I love this. And then I did my trick where I take a very vivid, bright lipstick. I used, this is my trick that I did not really wanna share. Not for any reason other than it's kind of weird and I just never shared it before. I love taking a really bright, saturated lipstick and I glop it on and I let it just live there while I finish up other things on my face, maybe put on my lashes, do other whatever, like let it sit for like 10 minutes. And you know how if you swatch your hand and you let it sit there for you know 10, 15 minutes, you take it off, there's a stain. A lot of brighter reds and pinks, they do have a staining part of the pigment, which is good if you want that makeup to last and lock in. Now, I don't want hot pink lips all day. I just want that nice base 
and that nice stain without using something that actually is a stain that typically has a lot of alcohol and is very drying and kind of, in my opinion, puckers my lips up and makes them look smaller than they are, which is not what I am going for. So I like using this trick. I let it sit, I blot it off. I actually take um, a foundation brush, a little powder, and I powder it down so there's no residue. And then I go back in and I reline and I know some of you guys are like rolling your eyes, but I'm just sharing with you what I do, techniques that really work. And then I go back in with a juicy balm. Now the one that I'm loving so much right now is from Clarins. They sent this to me and the scent of it is just so special. It is like a hybrid of the scent of waffle cone with the marshmallow, with like the essence of cotton candy sugar. I can't, like, I, it's so good. And mm, like, oh, just, what's wrong with me? I just am in a mood. That moment should probably be edited out. Don't eat your lipstick. It's not good for you. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't. Um, It's so, so good and very nourishing and very, plumpy and juicy and there's no real color in it. So what you're seeing is that hot pink with a little bit of liner worn down. It just gives this perfect effortless juicy look to the lips where I can keep reapplying the clear all day long and there's still gonna be color there because my lips are stained, but they're not dried out. Kind of the long way to get there, but I'm picky about how I do my makeup. There you go. Now I did tight line with the infallible 24 hour, so excuse me. 36 hour uh, retractable black. I don't like this as much as I remember. I actually feel like the Honey Bee Gardens black liner that I have been living for is better to not move in the waterline, even though that one isn't sold as waterproof. So I will list that below in the description box. This one is collecting a little bit and I don't like that. It drives me insane when black transfers a ton below and like in the inner tear duct, you know? Uh, so I always look out for that when I'm being really judgmental on makeup. Okay, you guys, that was a lot. I hope that you have the best makeup ever this summer and that you don't even need to touch it up one time and that you take some of these tips and apply them. And I hope you check out True Botanicals and you up your skincare game because that will always make your makeup look better. And then on the days when you do just wanna wear cream and you don't care if it's moving around, whatever, like you can go that route too. But I hope these tips were helpful for those more glamorous moments. And let me know that you like this video by liking it. Leave me your comments. Go check out True Botanicals for those before and afters. They are available on Ulta.com, so check out their full line. I'm excited to try more from it. And thank you again to True Botanicals for partnering with me. I'm obsessed. There we have it, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for spending time with me and hanging out. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.